In Hypixel's Skyblock, there are three Slayer bosses you can test your skill against. Zombies, spiders, and poppies. You can pay money to kill poppies. I don't know what to do at this point, like, should we get Peter involved? Or when I was making my last video, I went AFK while fighting a tarantula boss. I came back to see it had lost some health. My thorns enchantment on my armor had dealt damage while I wasn't even playing. So this got me wondering, can you beat every Slayer boss in Skyblock without attacking? The rules are, I cannot use any swords, bows, or even fishing rods. Which sounds strange, but in this game, the string from a fishing rod does more damage than a sword of pure diamond. The reason the tarantula boss was taking damage from me earlier is because my armor has thorns on it, which reflects damage dealt back to the attacker. Effectively, I'm a puffer fish. My goal is to make this damage enough to kill the enemies, effectively hurting themselves. So strap in arachnophobes, I'm gonna make a spider kill itself. By using my basic armor, the zombie boss doesn't take any damage at all, it just heals it all back. The wolf boss takes about 400 damage before it gets bored and leaves, and the tarantula boss takes 5 damage before someone comes and sets it on fire. Obviously, I need to improve my setup. I need to upgrade my armor. Currently, I only have thorns 2 on my helmet, but I can actually get thorns 3 on all 4 pieces. I just have to visit my cactus farm, get some wonderful carpenter XP, craft 8 thorns 2 books, combine them all, and then add them to my armor. When you're combining books and adding things to armor, you need enchantment levels. So to get this, you can go over to the witch and buy some glass bottles, then head to the bazaar and buy six times as much enchanted lapis. When you craft the bottles, it's much cheaper than buying them from auction, and you get more carpentry XP. Does anyone know why your helmet goes to the toolbar when you take it off? All right, I've got all my armor enchanted with Thorns 3. I've evolved from a small puffer fish to a full-grown saguaro cactus. I'm ready to take on another zombie boss. It's actually taking damage this time, and of course, someone comes and steals it. Why do I play multiplayer games? Okay, instead, I'll spawn it in the deep caverns where the low-level players hang out. Hopefully, they'll all be too scared to even approach the boss. Attempt number three. <laughs> he fell in the lava and he's on fire. I, I mean, I guess this kind of counts, right? There he goes, he died. I, I beat him with lava. Um, I don't know if I should count that. We'll come back to this. The wolf boss was the closest last time, so I'm gonna go back to that. I'm confident I can beat it now. Or it can beat itself now. Oh wow, guys, look, this guy's quitting the game and giving away all this stuff. Everyone, go message him right now and see if he's got anything left for you. You know, to be honest, I can see the gameplay in this video might not be the most entertaining. But a little editing can fix that. How's that? Did you enjoy that? Didn't think so. And I've won. A Slayer boss is officially dead without me even attacking it. I decided to go back to the spider boss after this, and I thought it was getting pretty close, but when I was almost done with it, it started regenerating all its health. And then someone stole it. I even tried getting the spider to jump to its death, but apparently they don't sneeze in October. Because they're immune to the fall. Okay, that was a stretch. There had to be something I was missing. If I just looked at the numbers, maybe I can figure it out. You are now entering. Since Thorn's damage is based on how much damage the enemy does to me, I thought maybe my armor was affecting it, so I decided to do some experimentation. When I am wearing no armor, I have 50% damage reduction, and a zombie does 10 damage to me. Therefore, a zombie does a base of 20 damage before armor is applied. Now, Thorn's 3 reflects 9% of damage 50% of the time, and the way this stacks is interesting. If you have 4 armor pieces with Thorn's 3, the chance remains at 50 cents, but the damage is increased to 36%. Stay with me here. With armor, I have 85% damage reduction, so math says zombies should deal 3 damage and receive 1 damage from Thorn's. Nope, they take 7 which means armor is ignored and thorns reflects their base damage, which is good because I deal more damage, but bad because I didn't have to do all the maths. But there's still one item I haven't used that can push my damage even further, the vampire mask. This item was great for the combat XP exploit that um, if it's bannable, I didn't use it, but if, if it's fine, then yeah, it was really good. Drains five health per second from all monsters. Since the Slayer boss lasts three minutes, this item adds an extra 900 damage to each fight. So I bought one for way more than it's worth and put thorns on it. And with my new mutton chops, I was finally able to beat the zombie boss. The vampire mask took care of the healing and thorns did the rest. I finally dealt 500 damage without swinging a sword. I lured the spider into this hole so no one could steal it from me this time and took care of that as well. So, I've beaten every Slayer boss, well, the first tier of each boss. The tier 1 wolf boss has 2000 health and I only just won that fight. The tier 2 wolf boss has 40,000 health. 
I think I'm gonna need another upgrade. But what armor set could possibly be better than the vampire mask? Isn't it obvious? Full grown saguaro cactus. This set is strictly early game and should not be used. Cactus armor, it's one of the cheapest in the game and it rebounds 33% of the damage you take back at your enemy. You may not like it, but this is what peak physical performance looks like. Time to test it on a tier two zombie boss. What's that? It doesn't take much damage? That's because I haven't even put thorns on it yet. But now, 36% damage on thorns on top of my 33% cactus damage, that's almost double damage. Let's see what I can do. Oh yeah, 2,000 times 2 isn't 40,000. Um, I can still beat the tier 1s with it, but I won't beat any tier 2s. I've tried taking more damage to help out, but nothing was really working. Armor isn't going to carry us any further in this challenge. It's time for something stronger. Armor was good to beat all the tier 1 bosses, but now we need to move on to another way of dealing damage to enemies that isn't technically attacking, using potions. You can craft potions that have negative effects and throw them at monsters. The particular ones that I'll be using are poison. The level 4 does 60 damage every second, although that requires an enchanted glowstone block, so I'll probably just go with level 3. I'll also use damage, burning, and venomous. If I use all four of these, I should be able to deal over 100 damage per second, while also hitting 400 damage every time I throw a damage pot. I've got three of each, so I can test them on each layer to make sure they work. See, one damage potion does 400 damage, and I have 35 slots in my inventory, so theoretically I should be able to deal 14,000 damage. But when I tried using the potions on the zombie boss, none of them seemed to work. I also tried it on the spider boss, and I think maybe the venomous work, it is taking 15 damage every so often, but the damage pot definitely didn't work. And I seem to have the burning buff on myself, which just means my attacks now set things on fire. That's not what I thought it meant. And just for fun I tried the wolf as well, but none of it worked on that. To figure out why this wasn't working, I decided to make a single player world and test some of the potions. It seems that damage potion harms spiders and wolves and poison affects the wolves. But these are called potions of harming and hypixels are called potions of damage. So I think hypixel must have coded different ones that don't work on mobs. Also, it seems that healing potions do damage to zombies because I guess they're undead. So I'll try healing potions on hypixel and see if they work, but it's not looking like we have much luck. Okay, technically it's called a revenant horror, not a zombie boss, but I don't support changing a name just to be edgy. Anyway, I'm ready to test the zombie boss again, and it despawned instantly, because it was too close to the village. Then why are there zombies out here? Nope, healing potions don't work on it either. I really don't know why any of these potions are in the game, if none of them seem to do anything, but I guess I can't use them. We're still only completed tier 1s, but don't worry, I still have one more trick up my sleeve. Some weapons have an ability attached to them that costs mana to use, like teleporting, giving movement speed, and in some cases, deal quite a lot of damage. The aspect of the dragons I've been holding onto does 700 damage per use and can be used every 5 seconds. I know that I'm using a sword now, but I'm not swinging it, so it counts as not attacking. So I mean, with 700 damage, tier 1 should be super easy. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I guess a sword with the power of a dragon's breath is about as powerful as wearing a cactus. That seems right. It's time to attempt a tier 2 boss, and since Revenant has the least health at 20,000, I'll start there. 700 damage every 5 seconds can maximally deal 25,200 damage, so it should be enough, especially with my thorn still on. But to use my ability non-stop, my cactus armor just won't do. I need to use wise dragon armor for a mana boost, and reapply thorns to it. How dare you! So, I've joined a cult. We worship this emerald block, and we try and break it. What will happen when it breaks? What treasures lay inside? Interesting. Oh yeah, I was supposed to be fighting zombies. Of course, stolen again. And that's the reason you shouldn't join a cult, kids. Okay, Rev Tier 2 spawned. And it's gone pretty well. The Aspect of the Dragon's ability does actually work on it, dealing 700 damage every time, and I've cornered it in this NPC's house so it can't run away. No, no, I don't want to buy any flint. I'm a bit preoccupied. What? I sold my vampire mask for 710 coins. I paid 3 million for that. God damn it. Now I'm going to really start right clicking. Yeah, <laughs> and he's dead. Revenant tier 2 is complete. I tried the same method with the tier 2 spider, but it has 10,000 more health. The aspect of the dragons just wasn't going to cut it. I needed another upgrade. Oh god, what is that noise? Oh, we've got an auto clicker. If you could all just take some time to report Pimp Frog, we'd all really appreciate that.
The upgrade that will take us further than ever before is the Ink Wand. Deals 50,000 damage. I don't know if the devs just slipped and put an extra couple zeros on this, but we're gonna use it. I think I'm just gonna test my new Ink Bomb on some sheep. Okay, so the bomb seems to be single target. Weird name, but it'll work for Slayers. So it should be one shot for the tier 2 Revenant. Yep, 50,000 damage. And the same happened to the Spider Boss. But when I tried using it on the Wolf Boss, nothing. Nothing happened, I tried using both the Ink Wand and the Aspect of the Dragons, and they didn't seem to ever deal damage. And I'm pretty sure I'm not missing from here, so I guess Sven's are just immune to spells. I'll come back to this later, for now I'll focus on the tier 3 of the other bosses. At tier 3, each boss has at least 8 times as much health as the previous level, and the main drawback of the Ink Wand is that it can only be used once every 30 seconds, which just isn't enough to kill any of the tier 3 bosses. But there is something that should be able to buff my damage, pets. There are lots of unique pets in the game, like the tiger that makes you deal more damage, the dragon that just really increases your damage, then you've got the blaze pet that really means you're going to do a lot more damage, oh and the snowman pet, that's the one you want to get if, uh, if you want to deal more damage. But instead of getting one of those unique pets, I'm focusing on the sheep pet, because it passively gives more ability damage. But I wasn't sure exactly how it worked, is it a flat increase or percentage? I made a sheep pet and leveled it slightly to test it. My pet should give 14 extra ability damage, so this ink one should now deal at least 50,014 damage. Hopefully more. Nope, still has the same 50k. So the sheep seems completely broken, but maybe there's another pet that can help me. The guardian pet. Deals damage based on my intelligence every 3 seconds. See, if I get my pet to attack the enemy, then I'm not doing the attacking. So my guardian pet deals 1 times my intelligence, and my intelligence is 600. But it doesn't seem to be attacking, it's just sitting there. Even if I start taking damage, it does nothing, until I hit the enemy with my fist. When I attack, the Guardian follows me. But it won't initiate combat. Even if I use a spell, it doesn't follow me either. I used a Venomous Potion on the Crypt Ghoul, which actually worked, so it's nice to know that the potions sometimes work, but the Guardian still didn't respond. It only attacks if I do first. So that means it's pretty much not usable for this challenge, but it does prove that both spells and potions aren't technically attacking. So if you are angry that I'm using spells, the Guardian agrees with me. With no seeming way to deal enough damage to beat a tier 3 boss, I went back to the tier 2 wolf. Maybe this wolf is just too fast and can dodge most spells? But you know what you can't dodge? Bombs. Or more specifically, AoE damage. So I made a golem sword, it does 250 damage in a hexagon around me every 3 seconds. So I should be able to find out if it's dodging or if it's just immune. Turns out the Golem Sword actually works. It does 250 damage to the boss, but sadly, it isn't nearly enough damage to take it out. The next sword I tried was the Pigman Sword, which locks onto an enemy and deals 1500 damage over 5 seconds. But when I tried it on the Wolf Boss, it doesn't think there's an enemy in front of me. I guess for some reason the boss just isn't seen as an enemy mob. I don't understand why, but the sword refuses to work for me. So that's it. I couldn't think of any other ways to beat them. I was so close to beating all of the tier 2s, but the golem sword just wasn't good enough. But what's better than a bomb? A bigger bomb. The leaping sword has been in the game since the beginning, and its ability is, well, it leaps, and explodes where you land dealing damage, which wouldn't be that amazing, but there was an update that added an upgraded version of it, making the explosion deal 400 damage, every one second. So by standing in the corner, right clicking over and over, I was finally able to beat the tier 2 Sven boss. And there it is, I've beaten all three Slayer bosses first two tiers without swinging a weapon. I do have some ideas on how to beat the higher tiers that I haven't shown yet, but this video is already like 15 minutes long so I'll save it for part 2. Let me know if you have any ideas on how to get the Guardian pet to attack or anything that will help me by joining my Discord. Yeah, I finally made one after like 1500 requests, join and I'll welcome you aboard.